Uh, Liam, first of all, happy new year. How would you reflect on 2023? Thank you, mate. Happy new year too. Um, 2023, it was one I felt there was a lot of ups and downs, just like most years at St Johnston. Um, now, yeah, we 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 probably came into New Year um in last New Year in good form, and then we kind of dipped off, and then had a little bit of a lift once again, and then yeah, it kind of fell off once again and then since the, the new management team have came in now I feel like it's been a, a really positive move for the club and there's been a lot of a lot of good changes. So I feel like we've we've finished the the year uh, strong and with a lot of positivity going into the new year. So um now I feel like we're in a good place. But yeah, listen, playing ups and downs in, in twenty twenty three but learnt a lot in, in that year as always and uh yeah it makes you a better person. It makes us a better team. So all in all, I think it's a, it was a positive one. You got a favourite moment or a, or a highlight from 2023? Um, not really. Uh, it was, listen, it was, at times it was, a, it was a disappointing year in terms of where we were in the league at one point. I felt that we we should have been in a, in a stronger position. Um, but at the same time, when we needed to knuckle down, we did. And obviously we ended up keeping... The club in the league comfortably, um. So kind of that post split when, uh, Mark had took taken over. That was a probably a good stretch. Um, we had a couple of one 0 games in there where we kept clean sheet and scored the goal, which was uh, which was good obviously to guarantee the, the safety of the club. Um, but obviously that's not a position that we kind of want to be in where we're celebrating um, surviving in the league. We want to be pushing more. So, um, obviously it was good, but at the same time as you're kind of wanting to to progress so um, in terms of that it was obviously nice to obviously spend another year in the, the SPL but for a club like ours I feel like that sh that shouldn't be a, a success that should be what's expected but Any New Year's resolutions or anything you would like to achieve in 2024? Um, New Year's uh, finish as high as we can in this table I really want to, and I believe that we've got a, a good squad here under the right guidance I think we can we can really go up and, and push for the top six Um, seeing the difference in us in the last nine, ten games and I feel like it's we're only gonna get better. So for me twenty twenty four is to to keep building on personally, collectively and uh, really make a push um up the table and, and hopefully finds us in a in a, a good space come come the end of the season. A big blow we heard this morning that Luke Robinson has, has been recalled by his parent club Wigan Athletic. Just can you have give us a few words, sorry, on on his time at the club and, and how big a mess he'll be for you guys. Yeah, obviously I was I was gutted to see anyone go, um, especially Robbo. Um he was a character, he was a great boy to have around the place, um, got on really well with him, um, brought so much energy, maybe too much at some times, wouldn't he stop talking, but that's why we loved him. Um but listen, it's a it's an opportunity for someone else to come into the picture and, and go and prove to the manager that um that they should be playing. So yeah, it's sad to see him go. But we've got we've got good strength and depth in the squad that um we've got enough players to come in and and step forward, but obviously sad to see him going and wish him all the best uh, for whatever's next for him. Um, so, yeah. Thanks, Liam. Dale, yeah. right ahead, mate. Yeah, so Liam, obviously Dundee away tomorrow and just, you know, what are your thoughts ahead of that? Yeah, huge game. Um, always a good one for the for the fans. Um, expected to take good numbers down there. So, uh, they're the games that you want to play in. Um, for us, it's a, it's a local derby as well. Um, obviously, Dundee have, have started the season pretty strong. Um, they have a good side, good battling side that you know it's going to be a difficult game going down. So, it's one that we're, uh, we're all looking forward to. We've all prepared um, well for. So, yeah, a game that all the players are, like I said, ready to go in and hopefully go and get three points. And, you know, just as you mentioned there, I suppose, at the start of the season when the, the fixtures come out, is this a game that yourself as, as St. Johnson players are looking out for, you know, when you'll face Dundee and, and you know, really, you know, looking forward to, to playing them? Yeah, listen, it's always a good one on the calendar. Um, like I said, it's a derby. The intensity that, that the game brings, it's always a, they're the games that you want to play in. But I think for us, it's you don't really get caught up on, on set games. It's every game is just as important. Do you know what I mean? You don't get any more points for beating Dundee tomorrow than you would live the other night. So, for us, it's just each game is as important, as big as the, as another one. But obviously, it's just that added bonus that it's a derby and it's a big one for the fans. And uh, hopefully, that the big support down there that they'll bring is uh, that'll that'll spur us on and, and give us the energy that we need. And you know, just what are you expecting from Dundee tomorrow? 
Uh, it's the same as most teams in the league. You're you're going to be a up against battling performers. It's going to be a tough game, and they've obviously got some. They've got some good players to add that extra bit of quality. So, um, no, it's a it's a tough competitive league, and you're kind of facing the same challenges most weeks. Um, so yeah, we need to know that first and foremost, we need to be going there and stand up to the challenge at first, and then. If we do that and do the kind of nitty gritty side that we know that we are as a football side that we're more than capable of going in and doing well in the game. So yeah, we we're expecting a it's going to be a tough tough encounter, but one that we are more than capable of going and uh, and overcoming. And just finally for myself, you know, obviously last game before the winter break, and you know, important to kind of lay down a mark and try and go go into that on a high with a with a win tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. Listen, no one wants to go into a break on a on a loss or a bad performance, so. Um, boys are well aware of that so yeah we're going in there we want three points we want a good performance going into the break and uh, and put us in a good position obviously for the kind of second half of the season perfect thank you very much cheers Thanks.